We might as well all just speak gibberish in this video, because you're going to project your own meaning onto what we're saying anyway. My people-pleasing ally. I'm the only one here who has absolutely no chaos in my life. Unfortunately, that means that you could never be attracted to me. I know exactly who I am and I go after what I want, and you envy that, because you have no idea who you are or what you want. Go on, agree with me. You know you have no other mode. I didn't want to have to do this, but... <clears throat> am I hungry? Yes, I am. What I mean by that is that I'm harboring deep feelings for you, and I'm in immense pain knowing that my love might be unrequited. Why do I keep using my FE for things that won't serve me 50 years down the line? I'm just hiding behind this strong and confident persona because I'm too scared to let anyone get too close to me. I also speak exclusively in cryptic messages that I challenge you to decode. My messages are less cryptic and more blatantly obvious. I'm suppressing wounds. Like an insane amount of them. There's so many. The blunt and insensitive way in which I talk to others, fueled by my obsession with tasks that mean nothing, makes you extremely uncomfortable. Thankfully, I speak in cryptic messages, so you still find value in spending time with me. I don't need cryptic messages because I am just incredibly shameless in how I act and what I say. <laughs> but still, I speak in cryptic messages. <sighs> I'm getting bored of this line of conversation. Can we please talk about something random and irrelevant? How are you? No, how are you? No, really, I insist. How are you? Are you well? That's so good. I've just agreed to help you fix something, but little did I know that you were referring to yourself. You've just tricked me into an unpacking session. Very sneaky. I'm sweet and kind and I clearly cherish you very much, but I'm afraid I've locked my heart with a key and I've given it only to the friendly leprechaun who comes to visit me each morn. We both know what's best for our loved ones, but you're proud that you aren't as pushy as I am. <laughs> Except when I've drawn the wrong conclusion about someone and start offering them advice which is just wrong, which just makes you panic and hyperventilate and sends you into an existential crisis about whether or not you should even invest in people because it's just too painful to constantly walk the line between what's right and what's going to please the people. My hello, my philosophical drinking friend. Stepped up to the well again for another round of what could be, have you? Shall we engage in lively chat that's so weird and incoherent that normies think we've escaped from a mental ward? I'm game if you are but only if we silently complete each other's sentences so that we slowly drift into different conversations without either of us realizing it. I'm suppressing wounds. I'm suppressing wounds. I'm suppressing wounds. I'm suppressing wounds. I'm suppressing wounds.